Welcome back, guys, to Factorio Towns with me, Massive Dynamic. I'd like to invite you to take a look around the towns with me for just a second. I'm going to show off some of the work that I've done in between episodes and catch you up to speed on everything that's going on in the towns here. So, give me a second. We're going to roll the intro, and then I'll be right back. Okay, glad you're still here. Now, first thing we did was we added a power switch in order to turn off the power because we still have, we're just teetering on low power. And I really don't wanna build another coal power plant. So I thought instead of that, we would just put a power switch on so that we can control the power to the towns and so if we look at the map real quick, we'll take a look around. You'll notice that some of the towns are turned off and that includes Genius. You'll notice here the power's off at Genius. Basically anywhere where we're doing science is turned off because that's kind of a big draw on the power. So there's uh, Genius. There's Blue, where we make the Blue Science. It, you notice it's turned off. Here's the power switch. Uh, let's see, does it show up on radar? There it is, right there. There's the power switch there, and then red and green is also turned off. Uh, let's see here, yep, you can see that the power lights are blinking and the power switch is here. And then finally, at uh, Santino, which is right here, and here's the power switch here, right there. Okay, so, as you may have noticed, I know Mr. Washington Toad noticed that the red and green wires were not fully hooked up when I made the blueprints. So I have uh, been working on editing the blueprints to add the red and green wires. But in the meantime, I manually went around and just connected all those wires so that we have signals everywhere. And that brings us back to Bub Loop Town. And if you notice here on the wire, we have uh, on both circuits we have um, one lab one green circuit one red one gray and one blue science and technically there should be a green science on there but they're both in the same town so basically those indicate the towns and i have all the switches set so that if p equals four they'll turn on so notice the power here we're at 66 67 megawatts running and if i turn the power switch on then you'll see the lights come on and now we yeah we're at we're at barely out of power we're running a, kind of a brownout situation so we're going to turn that back off now the reason that i did that was because as i said in the last episode we are going to work towards nuclear power so that we don't have to worry about power ever again so what i did was i converted bub loops little town here that he created very early on in the series and since this was the only place where well i say the only but this was one of two places where where there's uranium on the map and there's the other spot over there um that one's bigger by not by much but it's a little bit bigger but there's no town really nearby and this one here had bub loops little town was already here so i thought why not use that for the conversion of the uranium. Plus I wanted to see what these little guys do. Oh no, I'm sorry, I don't mean to show you that. It's so noisy, those little guys. Maybe we'll look at it from map view and we'll just watch their little, okay, that's not too bad. Uh, I wanted to see what those guys look like when they mined uranium and yeah, they turn green, which is kind of cool. And yeah, they're able to mine uranium. I did have to import acid. So that is another thing that I did in between episodes was I added an acid output and it is down here at batteries and acid, of course. And I added this station, this is new. This was not here in the last episode. Um, so I had to add inside here, as you may be able to see on the left-hand side of my screen, I added more acid chemical plants. And so they're cranking out the acid for that. So yeah, we got four full that's a hundred thousand acid over there waiting for us now which is plenty we don't need that much 
to uh, run this mine. Um, as you can see, well, we've got 100,000 here anyway. Uh, but we'll go inside here, and here is the processing centrifuges. And we could probably use a few more of these. Let's see how many. We're up to nine of the uranium 235s. You know what? Let's go ahead and put a few more of these in here. We'll just go ahead and copy this thing. And we'll probably have to run back to Bubluk Town and, and get the materials that we need to build these. But we're going to throw this in maybe like right there. I think we can do that. And we'll get rid of these things that we don't need. Including these. And we'll just take this thing and loop it down. And over here. Like that. Yeah, and we can add... We can always add more of these if we want to. Let me see if I can build any. No, I can't. I need to run back to Bubble Town to build more centrifuges. But that's just going to take more power that we don't really have, honestly. So maybe we'll wait until we get the nuclear power plant up and running before we do that. Uh, actually, technically, we could take these nine and start nuclear power. Because one, one of these will run a nuclear power plant for... Uh, is it two hours? It's either 30 minutes or two hours. I forget which one. If you just run a single nuclear power plant, um, I forget how, I forget the exact math on that. But uh, maybe what we'll do is, not in this episode, but in the next episode, we'll actually build a nuclear power plant. I'll go ahead and grab a new factory building. I can put this one away. Let me go ahead and and do that. Maybe we'll run in here. And yeah, we'll throw this back in here. We don't need this anymore. Yeah, we'll grab a new factory building and we'll set it up for nuclear power. And get all the parts made. We'll have to do that all at Bub Loop Town. So, actually, perhaps what I need to do is build a, a new building and set it up for building all those parts of nuclear power. Uh, that's probably a good idea. So maybe I'll throw this down right over here and we'll go inside here and we'll start building all the things that we need for nuclear power which are not in that tab but this tab. So we need one of these and we need these these and these there okay so yeah we'll start that and that way we'll have we'll be ready for uh, nuclear power in the next episode so and also let's see we need to make nuclear fuel well, I guess we could do that well let's see I'm not sure where we're gonna do that we might do that at the nuclear fuel town or nuclear power plant town that might be the best way to do that so anyway guys it's just kind of an update on the towns i wasn't going to actually do any building in this episode today just wanted to show you where we're at keep you updated and let you know that in future episodes more things will be happening new towns are sprouting up all the time so stick around we'll see you next time thanks for watching bye bye